good morning to everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, uh, communication between uh, two uh, networks using uh, routers right so packet has to cross multiple number of routers to reach the destination network so that scenario we are going to simulate here so let's go for the simulation so let's take i have three pcs in my one network and I have another three PCs in uh, another network and I need a uh, connecting device for this so I have a switch 2960 switch and I need to have uh, routers gateway router for one network gateway router for another network right so this is what the scenario is so let's establish connection between these devices so router to router connection will be the uh, crossover wire So connections are defined, let's uh, label the IP addresses, let's take this as 192.168.3.1 192.168.3.2 right and uh, uh, here uh, the gateway router needs to be defined so this uh, interface will have the IP of 192.168.3.4 is uh, nothing but the gateway, I, uh, gateway IP for this uh, entire network and uh, this interface will have 192.168.0.4 will be the IP address of this uh, gateway IP right and here it involves uh, uh, another uh, one network between these routers that act as a backbone network for this uh, internet connection so we need to define this uh, as another uh, network so uh, define one more uh, IP for this uh, Jihabit Ethernet connection so let's leave some gap so that it will be easy to this interface will have uh, this interface will have 192.168.2.1 uh, 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 and this interface will have 192.168.2.2 uh, right this is the uh, IP for this two interfaces right so now uh, all labeling is done so let's uh, start defining the IP addresses for each uh, device so let's copy this uh, so that it will be easy for us to uh, configure so gateway router uh, value is uh, which is 0 0.4 
Auto is your front port. AP is 3, gateway router is 4. And similarly for this, IP is 3.1 and gateway router is 3.4. This is a uh, gateway IP. Here it is uh, 3.2. Here it is 3.4. Here it is uh, 3.3. has been done now you need to configure the uh, interfaces of routers so click on this router 0 so you need to configure this uh, let's see the interface names z00 and this is uh, z01 okay okay z00 has to be assigned with the ip address of uh, 192.168.0.4 and the subnet mask will be automatically taken and port status we want to enable so that uh, interfaces will be active always and go for uh, one interface and that needs to be assigned with the IP address of 192.168.2.1 network right because it is a uh, it's almost like an internet so it involves a lot of networks so we are taking it as a third network this is one network this is another network and here it is another network so two IP addresses defined let's go for this interface this router 0.0, .0 should be before that we'll uh, see the interface names so 0 0.1 is uh, Okay, 0 is uh, connecting with the uh, next router, whereas 1 is connecting with the switch. So, 1 needs to be connected with the switch. So, 192.168.3.4, which is nothing but the gateway IP, enable the port. Sorry, and uh, 0 is connected with the router. 192.168.2.2 subnet mask and enable the port status so now everything has been done so let's try for uh, communication but it will not work because still we haven't completed one uh, one more process so let's uh, check for I'll show uh, whether the communication is possible or not so let's say choose only ICMP packets. I'll select one PDU. Let's check for communication between this uh, this to switch. So packet is ready to transmit. Okay, this uh, LAN connection is working. Okay, fine, good. Let's check for this LAN. So this uh, LAN is also working. Okay, fine, good. So let's check for uh, this system to this system. it reaches the switch it reaches the router but still uh, the packet cannot able to transfer find the route for the desti destination right because there is no route uh, defined between these routers right so you need to define the route 
So let's go to uh, CLI, which is command line interface of router zero, right? Enable CONFT. Okay, configuration stage. First, what needs to be done is. Uh, This route needs to be uh, defined. So uh, you, you have a connection to 192.168.3. Sorry, uh, 192.168.3.0. Your network ID needs to be uh, given 255.255.255.0 space through the IP address through the uh, interface of. Uh, 192.168.2.2 right oh, sorry uh, so configuration mode there you can uh, you need to add this uh, IP root so 192.168.3.0 uh, right which is nothing but the network ID of this IP and uh, the subnet mask needs to be given 0 space through the IP address of uh, through the interface of 2.2 ok now root defined so just uh, exit from this router and go to the next router CLI yes enable config terminal define IP root here uh, you need you have a you are saying this router that uh, I have the connection to 192.168.0 network right so network ID needs to be given so the first ID first IP address is nothing but the network ID so 192.168.0.0 and uh, your subnet mask needs to be given and uh, through uh, which uh, IP address 192.168.2.1 so uh, it's fine ok now both uh, uh, IP routes has been uh, defined so now you can check for this connection right so now this uh, source this is the destination so simulation window ok packet ready to transmit just the test uh, switch and it reaches the router let's redo this process there are times uh, it may happen like this bracket reaches switch it reaches the router yes uh, from router to router ok 
okay let's redo this uh, sometimes it may happen packet reaches switch it reaches router router to router transmission taking place and it reaches the switch of the next router or next network and it reaches the destination and destination will generate technology in packet switch and router and router to router transmission taking place and it is the switch and we finally it reaches the source so let's go for one more uh, because there are some times it may happen you need to define the route right so that is the extra work you need to done so in the previous uh, video we have seen that uh, uh, connection of two networks through one single router that router will act as a gateway uh, router for both the networks in this case uh, it's almost like an internet internet so two routers this uh, now uh, this router will have this as the gateway router and uh, this uh, network will have this as the gateway router and these two uh, networks uh, here it is connected through different network so it's almost like an inter internet so it has to cross every packet has to cross multiple number of routers so here it is of two different uh, this is uh, 192.168.0 uh, network and the uh, backbone network is nothing but 192.168.2 network and this is nothing but 192.168.3 network so here communication takes place with uh, th between two networks through another network right so it's almost like an internet right so let's go for one more simulation from here to here packet is ready to transmit it reaches the switch it reaches the gateway router Router to router transmission taking place. Sorry. Sometimes it may happen. Let me just switch router. Router to router transmission switch. From there it reaches the destination. And here acknowledgement packet is generated. So we are reaching the uh, gateway router gateway router forwards it to the switch switch will forward to the source so this is how uh, this uh, uh, configuration has to be done so here uh, two routers two gateway routers uh, this is almost like an internet connection so this is how this simulation needs to be done we will see another example in another video thank you